Hello, I'm Kim Tizer. Today's January 4th, 2023. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A recently published letter is shedding light on controversy surrounding a famous laicized priest. A 2017 letter recently published on Frank Pavone's website details the reasons the once famous priest was removed from the clerical state. The letter is from Pavone's former bishop, Patrick Zurich of Amarillo, Texas. According to the letter, Pavone carried on a years-long pattern of disobedience, ignoring a 2014 ban on media broadcasts, violating a 2016 restriction on celebrating mass publicly or wearing clerics, and disobeying a direct order not to celebrate a particular funeral mass. In Europe, the Hungarian government is passing pro-life policies. Starting this month, women who become mothers before turning 30 will be exempt from paying personal income tax. Hungary already has some of the most pro-family policies in place, including interest-free loans for pregnant mothers, government stipends for childcare, and tax breaks based on the size of one's family. Turning to the UK, experts are sounding the alarm on the dangers posed by gender ideology. A recent report from conservative think tank Policy Exchange claims the National Health Service, or NHS, is, quote, seriously compromised due to its rampant pro-trans ideology. The report notes the NHS is actively endangering female patients by allowing men, both patients and staff, to identify as women and gain access to female-only areas or female-only jobs, typically of a highly sensitive nature. Staying in the UK, the face of Brexit is calling on British patriots to abandon the corrupt Conservative Party. In a video posted Saturday, former Brexit leader Nigel Farage urged conservative-minded Brits to abandon the now left-leaning establishment Conservative Party for the rebranded Brexit movement, now called the Reform Party. Big article in today's Daily Telegraph by Lord Frost saying, look, I know we're not really conservative, but we could become conservative. And if we did and we stopped the channel crossings and we reduced the size of a state and we cut taxes, if we did that, we'd be a really good party. Just that at the moment we're not. And that I would just suggest now is the time for all good men to desert the Conservative Party. Switzerland's government is rebuffing gender ideology. The Swiss Federal Council rejected parliamentary proposals late last month aimed at introducing a third gender for official state records. The council clarified the binary gender model is still strongly anchored in Swiss society. The social preconditions for the introduction of a third gender or for a general waiver of the gender entry in the civil registry currently are not there. And the top court in France is rejecting euthanasia. The French Council of State ruled against an assisted suicide advocacy group late last week, determining neither French nor European law grants any right to suicide or euthanasia. The group Dignitas petitioned the French government in 2021 to relax restrictions on certain poisons for the purposes of euthanasia. The government rejected the group's requests, resulting in months of legal challenges brought by Dignitas. I'm Kim Tizer. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about the legacy of Pope Benedict XVI. God bless you.